Hi, my name is Josh Zander. I'm the host teaching professional for MySmart Golf and teaching professional at Stanford University Golf Course. Today I want to talk about maintaining your posture in the golf swing. Let me start off by saying that it is only important to maintain your posture if you're somebody who tends to swing the club more around your body, what today we call flatter or a one plane golf swing. Let's start off with your posture to dress. I want you to pretend right now that I'm standing on a balance beam. So this shaft on the ground is a balance beam and I'm going to stand on it. And right now I'm very balanced because everything is lined up. In order to get into a nice golf posture, what I'm going to do is make sure that whatever I throw on this side of the balance beam is offset or counterbalanced with something over here. So you notice as I bend forward from my hips, my rear end is counterbalancing the fact that my upper body is more over here. Now I've got a nice athletic golf posture with a slight flex of the knees, a nice straight back, and I'm very, very balanced. Now, how am I going to maintain that posture as I swing? I'm now going to use this rail as a training aid to show you how I'm maintaining my posture. So here I am on my balance beam, I'm nice and balanced with a nice spine angle. Now the key is I need to maintain the spine angle as I swing. So on my back swing, I'm going to make sure my right hip pushes this rail back. Notice how I've stayed nicely in my golf posture. The hips have an immense role in helping you maintain your spine angle. And it's especially important as you start swinging down. So I've made my back swing and I've pushed the right hip back into this rail. Now as I come down, I'm going to push both hips and my knees back into that rail to maintain that posture. I'm okay even if you come down a little bit out of your posture. Tiger Woods does and it works for him. As I continue through here, I'm going to make sure my hips and knees stay back. My left leg will straighten and you can see how now my left hip has pushed into that rail and I'm in a wonderful posture to hit a golf ball. At that point, I just continue to turn through and finish nice and high into my follow through. So let me go over that again. The knees and hips have a very, very important role in making sure I maintain my posture. Let me show you what would happen if my hips and knees didn't do the right thing. I've made a nice backswing here. I'm in my golf posture. Notice how if my knees go forward and my hips go forward, I've now raised up my spine. After all, I'm trying to stay on my balance beam. If my hips and knees went forward and I stayed bent over, I'm falling over the balance beam that way. So I've raised my spine angle up just to stay in balance. In order to maintain your posture, you have to have your counterbalances in place, just like we did at address. So let's do it correctly again. As I go back, I'm going to push my right hip back into this rail. As I come down, I've almost got a little bit of a squatting motion where I push both hips back and my knees back. And now I will straighten my left knee and turn through. Now you see my left hips on the rail and on through to the finish of the golf swing. For the best stat tracking program and game analysis on the web, go to www.mysmartgolf.com.